All right, so previously we've finished off with the links default category. In this video, we're gonna be going through the node label customization. Now, as always, within a sample report, you already have your pre-configured variation of the chart that you can explore. For us, we're gonna go into the training view and actually build the chart and go through the settings step by step. So first things first, let's add an instance of the network visual. Let's disable the background and title. And for the setup itself, I'm actually gonna go for regions in the nodes, countries in the nodes, and for the measure, I'm gonna be using total sales. Now, once we go into the formatting option, first thing you need to remember is that under nodes default category, you actually have two settings which are gonna be applicable to this video. Those are gonna be value locations and label positions. So what they allow you to do is to adjust where exactly for the node you're gonna be displaying the label and the value. So if you put them outside, a quick reminder is that you have an additional setting for the label format. So keeping these in mind, we can move to the inside and outside labels. So we're just gonna be closing this tab right here and open up inside labels. So for these ones, you have a couple of styling options. First, you have your font styling options. You have your color, size, font family, and style. Now for the size, we actually have two different modes. By default, what we're doing here is we're doing automatical sizing, meaning that readjusting itself to the size of the node. So bigger nodes gonna have larger labels, so it's easier to read them. Now, if you go to fixed, you can manually readjust and define the exact font size that you wanna use across the chart. Now, going forward, you can customize also the background. So background color plus the opacity. And the last two settings that you have here are gonna be the border radius and the padding. So having these options allows you to create unique looking combinations of the inside and outside labels. All right, that's gonna be it for the node label customization and I'll see you in the next video.